Thanksgiving travel. More than 55 million Americans are expected to fly or drive this week. Jen Sullivan explaining the FAA's plan to make your travel woes a little easier. If you're flying this Thanksgiving, expect packed airports. The skies will be extremely busy this Thanksgiving. The TSA predicts more than 2.5 million passengers will fly each day with the most travelers on Sunday. And those long lines could be met with a shortage of staff, particularly a lack of air traffic controllers. The shortage is a big problem. The FAA estimates air traffic control across the country is understaffed by 3,000 positions, and it's due to a variety of issues. Controllers are retiring uh, when they reach age 50 or mandatory retirement at age 56. Another hurdle is how long it takes to train air traffic controllers. It is a very, very rigorous process. So the FAA is teaming up with colleges that offer specialized programs in this field. This will allow successful graduates to move quickly directly into on the job training at facilities. And while that may not help curb delays right away, it will help fill those positions over time. But don't worry, the FAA and TSA are taking immediate steps to prevent snags in the skies this week, like temporarily expanding flight routes by allowing commercial airlines to fly in zones typically reserved for the military. If your flight does get delayed, remember, you do have rights as a passenger. If your flight gets canceled or significantly delayed for any reason, I want the traveling public to know that you are entitled to a full cash refund if you choose to take that refund rather than a rebooking. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Outside with live cam right now, the weather doesn't seem too bad for flying. Let's well, it it's, it's kind of windy. Well, it's a little breezy, but so, so as the pilot would say, we expect some bumps on the way out. Yeah. A little turbulence. A little yeah. Turbulence. I, uh, I checked across the country. No real big delays at the moment. I do expect there could be some issues a little bit later today up across the northeast because that's where we are going to see some snow and some wintry precipitation. Let me show you the temperatures across the country. Nothing that jumps off the page. It has not been an overly cold fall, if I'm being honest here. We've had our cold fronts, our fair share of cold fronts, but nothing that's been bitter cold. Uh, 29 to International Falls, 39 to Minneapolis, 47 to Wichita. These are pretty typical numbers. 56 in El Paso, nice out in California, 74 in LA, and then you've got 80s down in Florida. Continues to be the warm spot across Texas. 40s up in the Panhandle, 50s, and then you go to 60s, you get down into deep South Texas. All product of that cold front that moved through yesterday cooled down the entire state and left behind some cloud cover. We're still seeing that mostly cloudy from San Antonio up to Dallas. These clouds will slowly fade away, but they're taking their time doing so. So will the winds. We'll see winds slowly decrease. So by dinner time, still seeing some gusts, maybe around 20 miles per hour. But once the sun goes down, you'll see those wind gusts really start to relax. Our forecast today, 4 o'clock, 63, and then down into the 50s this evening. And then eventually 40s with a chilly start jacket weather to start your Wednesday, guys. Thank you, Justin. Now we're just two days away from the annual Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner, and almost 600 turkeys are being seasoned and salted and getting ready for the big turkey bake. It's going to feed some 25,000 people in the Alamo City. It's a free event. It's open to the public. No need to register in advance. And volunteers are welcomed as well. The doors open on Thanksgiving Day at 9 a.m. at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. There are thousands of people depending on it. I think the need is greater than ever, and there are so many people who aren't just alone, but are struggling financially. A lot of homeless individuals, and everybody is welcome. How's that for hospitality? Look at those turkeys. If you need a ride, VIA is offering free bus trips to and from the dinner at the convention center. We also want to give you a heads up about city closures on Thanksgiving Day. City Hall, most municipal offices closed on Thursday as well as Friday. And if you have trash or recycling pickup on Thursdays, that's going to shift until Friday. City services like police, EMS are going to operate as normal during the holiday, but other city services are going to be limited. You can find a full list on our website, ksat.com. It's become a holiday tradition for local police departments handing out meals to families in need. Tiffany Huerta shares how these acts of kindness are making an impact in the Edgewood ISD community. Edgewood ISD police officers filled their vehicles with bags of food to surprise families Monday morning. Because we're, we are the Edgewood ISD police department, we do focus on our families. Uh, uh, however, 
get word of another family, you know, we, we don't turn anybody away. Edgewood ISD Chief of Police Jesse Quiroga and his team stopping by homes to give families a holiday meal. Here's everything that, that you need for your We identify our families through our social workers, counselors, teachers, and, and nurses in, 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 our, in our school district. Officers began delivering meals last week. In between our calls for service, uh, they'll, they'll be out uh, uh, delivering a meal to, uh, to our, our families. It was nice. I didn't expect this. Edgewood ISD police officers have been delivering meals for about nine years, and this year they're delivering to about 250 families. No me lo esperaba. Angel Juarez says he was not expecting this and says he will now be eating a delicious meal this Thanksgiving. The police department also handing out turkeys and hams instead of tickets. So our police officers will uh, identify minor traffic violations, right? And in those minor traffic violations, we'll, we'll, we'll do a traffic stop, you know, and, and our, our point is to do one, educate the, the public on, on uh, safe driving, but also build a sense of community. Instead of offering a citation or even a warning citation, what we'll do is we offer you a turkey or a ham. If it wasn't for the food that is being given to these families, what would happen? You know, the, I get a little uh, uh, choked up with, with questions like that because all, all I can vision is, you know, uh, people people going without. And, and, and I just don't want our community uh, to go without. Quiroga says poverty is high in this community and they work year-round to provide families different resources. The majority of our students uh, qualify for free and, and reduced lunch, you know, and... Uh, uh, I don't want to sound like a cliche, but it does it does take a village. We we all need to come together as a community to empower each other to to help help each other out. This holiday season, the Edgewood ISD Police Department is spreading kindness and joy. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. Very cool. Now, Bear County has a unique system for hearing civil matters in Bear County. It is called the presiding court instead of a divorce lawsuit or any other civil matter being assigned to a single judge when it's filed and staying with that judge for the duration all sides meet here the judge overseeing the presiding court then hands the case to an available judge somewhere else in the county complex i call it uh, spinning the wheel of fortune because you don't know which judge you're going to get so for months now case at 12 has been investigating how uh, often, district court judges were listed as available to assist the presiding judge. We found a large disparity among the group of 14 with several judges available, not nearly as often as the other ones. Coming up at 6 o'clock, the reasons the judges list for their lack of availability and the significant hurdles our investigative unit had to overcome just to get the status sheets showing their availability. This week marks 60 years since one of the darkest days in American history, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. He was shot and killed in Dallas on November 22, 1963. But the day before, he was here in San Antonio. 60 years ago today, the President and First Lady Jackie Kennedy took a 26-mile trip through the Alamo City. They then spent the rest of the day in Houston before heading to Fort Worth for the night. We have a link to videos and photos on our website. Just look for this article on ksat.com. Still coming up, SeaWorld welcoming some new tortoises to their community. We get to meet and learn about them in just a few minutes. But first, we're talking COPD. We'll explain what that is and what doctors say that you need to do in order not to get it. November is National Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease Month, or COPD. COPD is a lot easier way to say it. It is caused by exposure to cigarette smoke as well as pollution, and it works by obstructing the airflow to your lungs, making it hard for you to breathe, and it usually affects both lungs. You have therapies to, monitor, to help the symptoms, but it's a permanent condition. Symptoms of the disease include cough, chest tightness, wheezing, shortness of breath, and fatigue. The big thing about these symptoms is that COPD, they don't go away. 
we really, really encourage everyone that has symptoms, respiratory symptoms that has some history of smoking or chemical exposure to really seek medical advice and say, hey, can I be checked for COPD? About 12.5 million Americans are currently living with COPD, and according to the American Lung Association, it rates, its rates are higher here in Texas. Across our state, more than 1.3 million adults have been diagnosed with COPD, which makes up 6% of national cases. Outside with live cam, we were talking about the wind. Yeah, there were some trash cans on the way to work today. They were in front of somebody else's house. So that trash can wasn't there last night, but yeah. it's down the street. They have a way of just rolling right down the street. <laughs> uh, you got to watch those inflatables, too. I've seen a lot of turkey inflatables this year. They will go with the wind, too. We've had some gusty winds all morning long. 58 so far today. The average is 70. We'll be below average today. 54 was the low this morning, and we'll see temperatures fall below that by tomorrow morning. Pretty chilly start to your Wednesday, but not a bad looking Thanksgiving. We'll take another look at that forecast and the weekend forecast too coming up. One of the largest tortoise species in the world is soon going to be calling SeaWorld San Antonio their home. Big. Nia Montgomery introduces us to two of our newest residents and she lets us know when we're going to meet them when their exhibition could open. SeaWorld San Antonio is soon getting a new exhibit specifically for Aldabra tortoises, just like Polka and Toka. Toka here is uh, 58 years of age and uh, Polka is 44 years of age. And the Aldabra tortoise is, which is known as the longest lived land animal on record. One of the animals is a confirmed 191 years old this year. They do have the ability to get larger. They have the ability to get words upwards of around 700 pounds. That's the largest Eldabra tortoise on record. Eldabra tortoise is native off the east, uh, east coast of Africa. It is a tropical island chain, so it is very hot there. It's very hot, very humid. So most of San Antonio's weather uh, matches right up with that. Eldabra Island is going to allow guests to do what we're doing right now. So it's gonna allow for that Eldabra tour. So you're gonna be able to go in with our Eldabra tortoises. You'll be able to kneel down right like I'm doing right now, give them a nice little neck scratch. You can let them, we'll allow you to feed them, take pictures, uh, learn about the ecology, learn about the, the niche that these uh, animals have in the wild and some of the challenges that they have out in the wild as well because they are a protected species out in the wild. For more information on this exhibit or SeaWorld San Antonio, you can head to our website, ksat.com. Mia Montgomery, KSAT 12 News. They're like little puppies. <laughs> They're, Scratch them behind I, the ear. Do they have ears? Uh, probably. We're going to have to go visit just yes. to find out. I think they're a little bigger than a puppy, though. <laughs> they're, they're huge. I can <laughs> confirm they're a little less energetic than my puppy, too. Uh, they that, move a little uh, slower. That's kind of easy to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, for folks hitting the road today, uh, we want to give you a travel forecast. Most of the roads in Texas look good. A little cloudy, a little windy. you got to watch some of those high-profile vehicles. Uh, but temperatures, not bad. 50s and 60s in most locations. Interstate 10, 37, 35, all look pretty good getting out of San Antonio. There's like the wind gusts. We continue to watch these pretty closely. These gusts have started to come down, but it's still windy out there. Still getting gusts 33 in New Braunfels, 28 in San Antonio, 28 in Castroville. And there's like the dew points. The air is dry. So that front yesterday just shoved in a lot of dry air, pushed all the moisture out. We'll see dry air for a couple days here, really several days. Uh, dew points won't be all that high. Feels pretty good. But one thing for sure, when you get dry air like that and you get clear skies, it will allow for some chilly mornings. And you'll have to plan for that, especially tomorrow morning where we're forecasting to be down near 40. 58 right now. North Northwesterly winds at about 21. We still have some of those clouds out there. Partly cloudy here in San Antonio. In our forecast today, we'll take it up to about 63. Not much higher than that. It's uh, going to be a cool day. And that wind makes it feel a little bit chilly chillier 57 at 6 o'clock 53 at 8 p.m. and then down into the 40s by midnight skies do clear but at the moment we still have quite a bit of that cloud cover out there winds will also calm gusts will come down from 30 miles per hour right now to more 20 mile per hour range uh, by the evening hours and then really uh, go pretty light tonight so that will be one of the big changes satellite picture shows we've had a steady dose of clouds from Blanco to Fredericksburg, Kerrville, Bandera, with some breaks around San Antonio, Hondo, and Uvalde. 
Uh, it does not look like these clouds are wanting to fade here all that quickly. I think that they will, but certainly taking a little more time. And so we'll keep it partly cloudy going into the afternoon. Quite a bit more cloud coverage to get up into northeast Texas, and then you run into a lot of rain up and down the east coast. So some rain and even a little bit of wintry weather headed for the population centers up across the northeast. And you know what that can do to air travel. While maybe quiet down here, it's a cascading effect if you start to get delays up around New York and Boston. We'll see how that goes. So far, not a lot of delays, at least yet. Our forecast shows we'll get clear skies, clear skies this afternoon, and then a lot of sun coming up tomorrow. Wednesday looks good. It's just cold to start, nice in the afternoon. And then by the afternoon, we could also see a few clouds starting to drift in. And I think by Thursday morning, a few showers are possible. I wouldn't worry about this too much. As we've been saying, this is all going to be really light. But it is Thanksgiving morning, so we want to let you know there could be a few damp spots in the roads, maybe a few sprinkles, a few light showers, and then this shifts out. And by Thursday afternoon, the sun reappears. Temperatures won't be all that bad. Uh, we're thinking 59 for Thanksgiving Day. 60s next couple of days, 66 Friday, 63 Saturday, 64 Sunday. A lot more clouds over the weekend. Probably get some showers and drizzle on Sunday before a front comes through and then clears us out and cools us down. We're back in the 50s by Monday. Thank you, Justin. Coming up, Black Friday is nearly here. What some stores are doing to get more customers in there rather than just shop online. The holiday shopping season is here. And as we know, Black Friday, huge shopping day. Ooh, ABC's Melissa Don has some expert tips on how to get the best deals. Holiday shopping has been going on for weeks, even before Black Friday, which used to be the start of the season. Black Friday still is definitely a thing, but it's not just on the day of Black Friday anymore. So you kind of have to think of Black Friday as a season or as the entirety of Thanksgiving week. So here's some tips on ways to get good deals. Black Friday is a great time to buy clothing, gift cards and home goods, especially those smaller appliances. Think vacuums, countertop appliances like air fryers and anything you need for your kitchen. Those are always very deeply discounted during Black Friday. Another popular item on a lot of shopping lists, TVs. The number one thing that you should always wait until Black Friday to buy is a TV. We've seen year after year that they hit their absolute best prices on Black Friday itself. If you're considering shopping online versus in person, there are some advantages. You can immediately compare prices across retailers very, very quickly, which you can't always, you know, do as quickly when you're in a physical store. The other advantage of shopping online is that you can immediately start looking up promo codes, cashback offers and things that make the deals a little sweeter. You might also be able to save by using social media. So if you follow your retailers online or brands, especially, you may be able to get access to exclusive savings such as coupon codes and other discounts that they're going to offer exclusively through those venues, whether on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter. And of course, it's always smart to shop around. For a lot of items on Black Friday, it can really pay off if you take that extra moment to compare across retailers. They're all competing with each other. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. Some very nice tips. Yeah. Speaking of tips, we know these folks have some tips on cooking. I have learned a lot. Yeah. Oh, we're not cooking. We're having somebody else cook. That's right. Uh, An assembly. Yes. <laughs> they have the check tips. out. Check out. How about this for a tip? Have a beautiful charcuterie centerpiece on your table. Perfect for grazing all day. Made by none other than the board couple. Monica Nino, Brian Gonzalez are here. How? The well, perfect idea to Thank have you. Thanksgiving. It's always a perfect idea, right? Centerpiece. Yeah. Yes, for whatever the day is, and then you got something really good to go with oh, it too, right? Oh, easy glue vine. This is a traditional German wine we'll talk about in the show. You just want to make a syrup, so you're going to throw in all the good things. You got some star anise, you got some cloves. Get it all in there, make a nice, nice little syrup, let it simmer. And we're going to add some wine to this in just a little bit. Oh, Ooh. that sounds good. And Christmas in Comfort, they are going to be some of the stars of the show up there. We'll tell you all about that. All right. After you've eaten on Thanksgiving, what do you want to do? There are the choices on your screen. Go ahead and scan that QR code and weigh in right now. Watching football, shockingly, is winning. Yeah, of course. I wish you could pick about three of them. So, mm -hmm. well, you can right. combine football and a nap as you come in. You know. If you want to do some <laughs> shopping, you may want to head up to Bernie this weekend. That's where Jen is. It's one of the biggest family-friendly holiday events in the San Antonio area. And can you tell where I'm at right now? 
at the Christmas shop where it's Christmas every day. And we are going to let you know everything you need to know if you're planning to come to Dickens on May. So stick around. And check out those loofah soaps. Ooh, Ooh you can exfoliate and get okay, moisture so at the same time. time. Organically bathing beauty, perfect for that. And that and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. <laughs>